and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to go for a ride on the Lear Graffiti and I want to talk about another bike that's on sale a dual motor all-wheel drive so let's go and we'll talk about it <clears throat> Hello. Okay, so I want to talk about a bike that's on sale right now. Regularly priced $3,300 or $3,299 on sale for $3,049, $250 off. And that is the Pedal Electric All Wheel Drive 3. That bike's been out for about a year now. I think it's about a year that that bike uh, came out that uh, version of the bike and let's uh, go over some of the specs on the bike off the top of my head so as i say that the bike is an all-wheel drive dual motor so you've got a thousand watt hub motor in the uh, front and rear wheels and then you've got a 48 volt the battery is a 48 volt 21 amp hour I do not know the exact size of the tires I'm assuming they're 20 by 4 but I for some reason I couldn't find that on their site unless I missed it also I couldn't see controller I don't know what controller they're using or what size the controller is the bike does come with hydraulic brakes uh, I don't remember if I saw fenders on the bike I think uh, I can't I don't know if there's fenders or not but it does come with a rear rack Um, one other thing um, the, uh, is a, of note on this bike is the, the seat height. The seat height is massive, it's 35.25. That has to be possibly the highest seat that I've seen on, a, on these moped style e-bikes. Uh, that's pretty high, so I think that's going to restrict who purchases this bike I mean if you're five foot five I think they list five five to six five is the sizes uh, for this bike that they recommend but I can't see because when a bike is at seat height like the uh, Grizzlies at 32 inches and then I've got the e Huntsman tires and they bump it up a little bit more because they have thick tread on them and it's probably 32 and a half or so and I'm five foot nine and my feet do not touch the ground flat on that bike so can you imagine 35 and a quarter inches I've not sat on a pedal electric all-wheel drive three bike but I assume 35 and a quarter inches is going to be high so uh, that might deter some people from the bike right there I don't know um, I don't know if it col comes in any other colors other than the black I always see the black it might only come in the one color it does look really good though I mean it looks wise it's it's appealing I have looked at that bike in the past but I don't think I got too serious looking at it because I ended up getting the Grizzly it may have come out a little bit after the uh, when I bought the Grizzly because I bought the Grizzly it's coming up on exactly one year ago um, first of April so it's really close now to being one year that I've had it so it may have come out just after that I think it might have actually it might be just a little under a year that particular model they have a couple of other models, but I'm keying in on this one because it's the dual motor. 
So if you look at that bike, the, the regular price of that bike is $32.99. Well, that is the price of the Grizzly, Aerial Rider Grizzly. So there's a, these two bikes are really uh, comparable because the, uh, they both have dual motors. They're both 1,000 watt. I don't know what the uh, pedal electric bike peaks at. But they're the same wattage. The only difference is the Grizzly has the advantage of being 52 volt versus 48. Uh, the Grizzly does not come with a rack, a rear rack, so that's advantage to the pedal electric. The battery set up on the Aerial Rider Grizzly is uh, dual. So I've got a 15 amp hour and uh, on the uh, down tube and then I've got a 20 amp hour 52 volt under the seat. So that's 35 amp hour 52 volt versus 21 amp hour 48 volt on the pedal electric. So besides that though, I mean, the weight on the uh, pedal electric bike is 95 pounds the weight on the aerial rider grizzly is 105 so it's got a 10 pound uh it's 10 pounds lighter on the uh on the uh pedal electric versus the aerial rider grizzly and then i've got on mine i've got the e huntsman tires and those are definitely heavier they make the bike the bike is probably closer now to a 110 pounds, uh, I would say, with those uh, other tires. So it's pretty, pretty heavy. You know, when you get riding something like I'm on right now, I'm on the Lyric Graffiti, which weighs about 80 pounds with two batteries. So a big difference there. Uh, the other difference in the two bikes is that the pedal electric has headlight, tail light, brake light, and signal lights. <clears throat> so that's an advantage over the Aerial Rider Grizzly. Now I know you can always get lights on it, but I'm talking about right out of the box what you get, the differences. So, I mean right now the Aerial Rider Grizzly is $32.99, it is not on sale. If you do buy more than one bike, uh, they tend to give you, I think, $200 off. So if you buy two bikes, then you'll get a discount. But unless you're buying one for you and a friend or your wife or your husband or whomever, boyfriend, girlfriend, kids, then you're gonna uh, probably just buy one, right? So. The other thing I saw on the site now for Pedal Electric, I think if you sign up and become a VIP member or, or uh, sign up for their newsletter, I think you do receive an additional $75 off. So that would put it down just under 3000 So don't quote me on that, but I believe that's what the website, if I remember correctly, I think it did have that as well. So that would take it down another $75. You'd actually actually be saving $325, not bad. So I don't know anybody that owns a pedal electric. So I can't give you, and I don't have one, so I can't give you a comparison. I only know the Grizzly, which is one of the bikes I own. So I can't tell you what they're like to ride or drive uh, as far as the uh, pedal electric it's got pretty good specs like I say it looks good it's I think a couple of things that I don't like is good on that one it would be the height the seat height that's quite high for me being uh, a shorter statue or stature at uh, 
five foot nine, I think if you're six feet or six foot one, you'd probably welcome that. But anyway, that's another bike that's currently on sale. So maybe that's just enough to get you to uh, purchase that. Maybe that sale price is good enough. I believe the company is out of California. And I don't remember too much else on the bike. I think that's pretty much all of it. So if you have uh, any comments to leave, go ahead and leave them in the comments below regarding the pedal electric. Maybe you've got some more info on what controller possibly that they use or the tires or how uh, size of the tires or uh, any other information you can give us on the uh, on the uh, pedal electric that would be appreciated and also if you've ridden both the Grizzly and the Pedal Electric all-wheel drive three, by all means, let us know what you uh, what you think of each bike and what one you would choose between the Aerial Rider Grizzly and the Pedal Electric all-wheel drive three. That'd be interesting to hear from folks that have ridden on both bikes. So a couple of things going over this one more time for me that would make me probably side with the Grizzly. Now I may be a little biased because I own the Grizzly, right? So I can't really fairly give an opinion on the other bike when I haven't ridden it. I'm just going by the specs that it has there. So overall the seat height would, would bother me a little bit. I think being that I, I think I could ride it. It wouldn't be an issue, but uh, I would prefer it to be probably closer to the 32 inch. The um, voltage of the bike being uh, 48, I would prefer 52 or higher myself after riding a couple of bikes that are 52 volt. And then the battery uh, bothers me a little bit being only 21 amp hours, especially when you're drawing two motors are drawing from that battery that's a lot you know like so I don't know um, 21 amp hours just doesn't sound like a lot to me for a two battery setup I don't know if the like what size the controllers are so I don't know what anything about that but anyway that's my opinion as far as looks goes I like the looks of the bike uh, looks great. It's 95 pounds, so it's a little bit heavy that way, but you know what? With two motors on there, it's going to be a little bit heavier. I think if you had a second battery on there, it would basically, the weight would be equal uh, to the Aerial Rider Grizzly. So it's pretty similar there. Uh, having the 21 amp hour battery versus the 20 amp, on the Grizzly, but then the Grizzly has that extra 15 amp hour battery. Now, I don't know what size charger comes with the bike. And when I got my Grizzly, I got two chargers and now they unfortunately only give you one. It was nice getting two, I gotta say, so I can uh, charge both batteries up at the same time, which is really nice. So anyway, yeah, if you've got any uh, opinions uh, on these bikes, or maybe you've ridden one or both before, hey, let me know in the descriptions uh, or in the uh, comments below. I'd like to hear from you. So that's going to do it for this video on the channel. Thank you for coming along for the ride. And hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe, please do hit that subscribe button and you'll be subscribed. Also, if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up here on the channel, it's simple. All you have to do is click on that bell. Uh, 
notification bell and you'll be notified. So once again, hey, thank you for coming along for the ride. Much appreciated. And hey, until next time, take care.